टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग एन इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन सपोज आई एम गिविंग अ फ्री फॉल टू अ बॉडी फ्रॉम सर्टेन हाइट एंड आई एम आस्किंग यू वेन द वेलोसिटी ऑफ फॉलोइंग बॉडी बिकम्स मैक्सिमम सपोज यहां से मैंने गिराया आई एम गिविंग फ्री फॉल टू अ बॉडी फ्रॉम सर्टेन हाइट and what about its velocity maximum velocity at which point it will become maximum i am giving four options a at the instant of collision b just before the collision c just after the collision and d we can't answer because of our physics is weak What is your answer? A. At the instant of collision. And what about you, Tanya? B. Just before the collision. Okay. Can you give the answer? Okay. To find the answer, I am giving one example. Interesting example. Stop. To find the answer of the given question. I am repeating. I am giving free fall to a body from a certain height, and we want to find at which location, at which instant, its velocity is make, uh, becomes maximum. Okay. For this, I am giving one example. A block of mass one kilogram falls freely on a spring from a height of twenty centimeter, as shown in figure. This is the spring. This is the ground level. This one is the light tray. We have reached the other end of the spring. This one is the block of mass M, which is one kilogram, and it is at a height of twenty centimeter. And we are giving free fall. Find the compression in the spring if its force constant is six hundred newton per meter. Take z is ten meter per second. Second square. Ten meter per second square. This is the spring having force constant 600 newton per meter. Okay, it is actually the required amount of force to increase the length of the spring by one unit. Center of mass, the distance is 20 centimeter. We are considering two position. This is the position number one, and I am giving free fall. Consider here few. Having it drops are there because we don't want rebound. After falling, it sticks to tray, and then after it descends downward, and at certain location, it becomes momentarily, it becomes stationary. Suppose this position is two, position number two. This is the position number one, and this is the position number two. At that location. The block momentarily becomes stationary. Suppose this compression is x. After compression x meter, it momentarily becomes stationary. So applying energy balance between one and two, applying energy balance that is law of conservation of kinetic energy. So energy at one equal to energy at two, energy of the whole system. Here we have three kind of energies: GPE, gravitational energy, kinetic energy, and energy stored in spring. So at position one, if we consider this one is reference level, where it becomes momentary stationary. According to this reference level, the height of the block is 20 plus x. So GPE of the block. Mg into height, which is 0.2, 20 centimeter. That is 0.2 meter plus x meter. So Mg h plus kinetic energy. I am giving free fall at at the uh, at the time of uh, is that instant. Kinetic energy is zero. And energy stored in spring. The so spring is not compressed, neither stretched uh, nor compressed. So it is also zero. Equal to 
एनर्जी एट पोजिशन टू बट एट दैट इंस्टेंट ब्लॉक बिकम्स मॉमेटरी स्टेशनर स्प्रिंग ऑल्सो ट्रे ऑल्सो तो जीपी ऑफ ब्लॉक इज जीरो बिकॉज दिस इज द रेफरेंस लेवल Kinetic is also zero because it be, it becomes momentarily stationary, and energy stored in spring is given by half k x square. This is the formula, half k x square. So m is one kilogram. It is given in the data. G is ten to is uh, point two two by ten plus x equal to half. K is given six hundred into x square. After simplification, we get two plus ten x equal to three hundred x square. We get a quadratic equation. Three hundred x square minus ten x minus two equal to zero. Splitting the middle term, three hundred x square minus thirty x plus twenty x minus two equal to zero. Taking common thirty x, we get ten x minus one. Here taking common two, we get ten x minus one. Again taking common ten x minus one, we get ten x minus one into thirty x plus two equal to zero. So ten x minus one equal to zero or thirty x plus two equal to zero. Therefore x equal to one by ten meter or x equal to minus one by fifteen meter. But we have suppose that The compression of the spring is x, but mass is giving two answer. One is positive, other is negative. Which one is possible? First, negative is not possible. No. So why mass is giving two answer? Tanya. Like, oh, वो ऊपर जाएगा. Like, oh, वो जो spring है वो ऊपर जाएगा तब वो rest में है. हाँ. If we consider x compression, then it is positive compression, and negative answer should be indicates x change in the spring. We are asking to mass when it becomes momentarily stationary. To practical point of view, these two location, this and this both, this is x equal to zero. At these two position, the block becomes momentarily stationary. Actually, it will oscillate between these two points. This is the upward extreme point, and this is the downward extreme point, which is one by ten, and this is minus one by fifty. These two are end point: downward extreme, upward extreme. And we know that mid position should be at middle. This is x equal to zero. This one is x equal to minus one by fifty. This one is x equal to one by ten. the mid point we can find this way using class 10 mathematics x1 plus x2 by 2 okay x1 is what 1 by 10 x2 is what minus 1 by 50 by 2 multiplying both numerator and denominator by 30 we get 3 plus minus 2 upon 60 it gives 1 by 60 So one by sixty, this one, almost here, is the mean position. See, this distance and this distance is same. This is the maximum displacement on either side. Okay, it is amplitude, and this is the equilibrium condition. So at this location, the uh, net force acting on the block must be zero. checking now calling isaac newton by common sense after a long time it will settle at certain position and suppose this position is x dash but after uh, after long it will settle that is uh, velocity of the block become uh, zero it remains stationary in this position Mbd of the block is mg force downward, bit of the block, and Tx dash. This is the restoring force pulling the spring in the upward direction, mm -hmm. and it must balance is mg. So Kx dash equal to mg. So x dash is mg by k. 
which is 1 into 10 by 600 k is greater than meter per meter so it also gives same 1 by 60 meter so we agree this one now i am repeating when i am giving free fall the force acting on the block is 10 newton because the mass is 1 kilogram g is 10 so up to correlation and the net force on the block is downward 10 newton at this location this location uh, uh, force uh, 10 newton force is downward and spring force is also 10 newton so at this position net force is zero net force on the block is zero but suppose the compression is smaller the spring force is must be less by 10 newton because of the restoring force uh, becomes one by uh, uh, becomes 10 newton at 1 by 60 but if the compression is less than 1 by 60 the spring force whatever it is it must be less than 10 we it remain same so in this position in this position it also experiences net force downward but this force decreases when it reaches uh, 1 by 60 it becomes zero so up to this location the acceleration is 10 meter per second square but after that acceleration decreases and it becomes zero at 1 by 60 okay that is in this position uh, in this position the rate of increase of velocity decreases but velocity increases up to 1 by 60 but collision is here x equal to 0 now you can change your answer there are four options okay, what about the maximum velocity at which location at the instant of collision just before the collision just after the collision now i am changing this option we can answer because our physics is strong What about your answer? See, just after the collision. Yes. It is right. Just after the collision. Is the right answer. Because of this... Uh, flow is very steep so we can consider the spring is very hard so our brain does not agree but the true answer is this because after a very small compression equilibrium position is there so actually the speed becomes maximum velocity becomes maximum just after the collision not just before 